Now things can sometimes get crazy in transition. I think every team is taught to either try to take out the setter in a free ball situation or try to impede the middle blocker in this situation. This is something that you have to prepare for. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to have a coach on the other side giving free balls to our middle hitter who's going to pass to attack. So we got to make sure that everybody is communicating. We're rotating according to what we would normally do in a free ball situation. Ball's going to go to the middle. Now, what's most important is that as she comes off the net, she is going to establish a good base with her feet and then handle the ball with her arms. If the ball's a little bit higher, she's going to call off the back row person. She's going to get her hands up quickly, get a good base with her feet, and deliver the ball overhand. So you're going to see the middle blockers take balls both overhand and underhand, depending on the location of the ball. Ideally, we want the libero to take as many of these as possible, but it's not always feasible based on the trajectory of the ball. So ball's going to come in pretty flat, libero would not be able to get there, middle has to take it, and then transition to attack. Here we go. Three, three, one, two. Good. Three, three, one, two. Three, 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 one. Three, three, five. Three, three. Two more. Three, three, five, five. One, two. One more. Three, three, one. One more good kill. Clear. I'll stop right there, hold on now. Let's come back and come back. Okay, so now in that situation, our middle blocker didn't handle the ball as well as she wanted to, but she didn't give up on the play. She still found a way to be effective. In that case, she kind of put a ball over here and instead of coming over and crushing the space between her and the outside hitter, she actually called a behind set, an audible. Okay, and that's a great job by an experienced middle to go ahead and just make something happen. Let's try and get two more good kills. Here we go. Three, three, five, three. Three, 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 one. One more good kill. Three ball. Three, five. One, push. Three, three, three. One, push. Good. So, again, being able to handle the ball in the free ball situation is critical. You have to spend extra time training your middle hitters how to pass and how to handle the ball.